Hi, I'm Luke Weston, Senior Product Manager with Chief, a brand of La Grande V, and we're excited to show you our Impact Series Outdoor Kiosk. For starters, you'll notice you have a nice, simple, clean aesthetic that's gonna blend into a lot of different environments. And let's take a deeper dive into some of the features. When it comes to durability, we've done the testing to ensure safety and reliability to endure harsh outdoor weather. For starters, the material is a galvanized steel, which is highly dent and corrosion resistant, followed by an outdoor primer and an outdoor paint to guarantee a five-year warranty. The product's also been designed to UL outdoor product standards and listed with TUV for global deployments and wind rated and tested up to 140 miles per hour. The current compatibility of the outdoor kiosk is with Samsung and LG outdoor displays in the 55 and 49 inch models. You can also upgrade to a IR interactive touch solution from TSI Touch ordered separately the TSI Touch Interactive Solution is plug and play with USB, IP65 rated, and sunlight immune. Let's take a look at the back of the kiosk. Mike Moon, our senior mechanical designer, is gonna assist us and show us how to remove the back ventilation cover so we can get a look at the inside of the kiosk. You can see on the inside of the ventilation cover, you have foam partitioning to separate the intake and exhaust in accordance with the thermal guidelines of our manufacturing partners. I wanna give you guys a closer look at the inside of the outdoor kiosk so you can see how the TSI interactive touch solution is assembled. It can be fastened directly to the front bezel prior to putting in the display. And we'll talk about the display assembly later in this video. The AV storage box is IP54 rated, meaning it's protected from harmful dust and water droplets outside of flooding. So rain, puddle splash, nearby sprinklers, garden hose, won't be a problem. Let's take a look inside the box. Dual gang AC power can be added to the top left or right of the box. The opposing side will have your cabling pass through with dust filters. This IP54 rated box comes with two fans that are thermostatically controlled. They can be positioned in on, an auto or an off position. The auto turns on at 87 degrees and turns off at 85. Dust filters can be removed and either washed with soap and water or blown out with an air hose. The product ships with middle Atlantic lever lock plates so you can preload gear and add this in the box without tools. The storage box pairs well with other Legrand products, including Legrand electrical products like this outlet cover and outlets, Middle Atlantic PDUs, and C2G cabling. I want to take a second to talk about power and cable management. Power can be routed through the leg so that it's hidden, but if power is not in the ideal spot, you have a lot of options for other power entry. There's a three quarter inch conduit knockout in the side cover plate and also quite a few in the bottom of the storage box, giving you a lot of flexibility for, for power entry. From a cable management standpoint, cables can be ran through the upright all the way up to the top of the roof cap where we have cutouts for popular antennas if you need to add a Wi-Fi or a cellular signal to your outdoor kiosk. Hi, this is Mike Moon, mechanical designer with Chief, a division of Legrand AV. Today we're gonna to take a closer look at the installation features for the Impact Series outdoor kiosks. As you receive one of these products, you'll notice that this frame comes fully assembled. What you'll also notice is that you have a template provided for you to help you install this on your concrete pad. 
Let's take a closer look at the anchors used in this installation. What we've used in our installation are concrete screw anchors. These are stainless steel and they ship with the product. For additional strength, we've added a quarter inch thick washer plate. You can use the included anchors and achieve the wind rating. You can also use fasteners of equivalent strength that are sunken into the concrete when it's setting. The second step is to install your display interface brackets. There's an upper and lower version of these and we do include the hardware for installation. Install these to the back of your display and then you can simply hang your display over the frame interface bracket. The frame interface bracket provides depth adjustment to accommodate for different depth displays. The last step in installing your display is to secure it in its position. Add the fastener hardware to each of the corners to connect the display interface bracket to the frame interface bracket. Once your display has been installed and you've routed all your cables and power, you can simply add the back storage cover to the IP rated storage box. The next step is to cover the back of the display. Hang our back cover with a hook feature and install the security hardware. The last step of our installation is to install the cover plates at the bottom of the kiosk. We're looking forward to getting this product in your hands. So for more product information, reach out to your local sales representative or visit lagrandev.com.